And hello everybody and welcome to the first ever ACB Radio tutorial on Fallout New Vegas. Now this is how to mod Fallout New Vegas in a way where you customize the textures and place them into the GEC so you can uh, put them into Fallout New Vegas. Now this should work for games like Skyrim, Fallout 3 and Fallout 4. Well I'm not too sure but I know for a fact it will work on Fallout New Vegas. So. Before you uh, follow this tutorial, please check the uh, link in the uh, description below. So step one is download the BSA browser. So this is the BSA browser here. I'm going to double click it and open it up. So here's the uh, BSA browser. So how to use the BSA browser, you want to click open. And you want to go to your Fallout New Vegas and click on uh, data. Uh, open the data file and scroll all the way to the bottom and you should see this. Now before you install BSA browser you won't get the BSA browser logos on it um, now the logos are on it it means it can be opened with a program BSA browser so we're going to do some custom textures today so uh, this is what you're going to need to do first um, click one of these two I'd recommend clicking the first one I've already extracted both of them so once you click that you'll get all the .dds image files and these uh, files um, are the ones that uh, Bethesda has said uh, .dds files work in the GEC and they work in Fallout New Vegas so .dds is the way to go so anyway uh, once you've seen all this uh, what I recommend doing is hitting control and then A and that should highlight every single one of them and then just click extract all and then uh, this is very important uh, double click on textures in the data folder and I'd recommend uh, right clicking and creating a new folder and just type it anything you want and that's it so there it is there we go so I'm just going to delete that now but that's just an example this is the folder I made it's quite confusing so I'm just gonna uh, there we go, textures and meshes. Um, I'd recommend just typing textures. I think I've just spelt textures wrong. Yes, I have. Let me just correct that. There we go. Um, so, yeah, basically, it's saying select folder. I'd recommend uh, creating a new folder. Uh, open the folder. And yes. Uh, well basically all you have to do is just click on the folder and then click this button here select folder and it will extract all the uh, .dds images so you can now look at them in a folder because before you couldn't look them in a folder so I've already done that but once you do that a little box should pop up and it should say um, the estimated time and it should take about depending on how fast your computer is 5, 10 or 15 minutes maximum you know because it's extracting a lot step 2 is uh, downloading this thing called DDS Converter now DDS Converter is um, a converter which converts DDS files into JPEG files so we can uh, edit them in our editing program Anyway, what you want to do is you want to click this button here, add. There we go. So now you want to you want to look for the data. Now once you're in data, click on textures and then um, double click on the custom made folder that you've already made. Now it should look a bit like this. It should just have this here. It should just have the textures. Uh, ignore these three here. Just Just look at this one. This is what I did earlier. So double click that and you'll get categories of folders so what we want to do is we want to make a custom armor texture so yeah uh, okay it looks like uh, it's drunk uh, anyway yeah there we go don't click armor click textures and then click armor then it's all in categories as you see here you know, all in categories and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to find an outfit uh, where is it? I'm going to find an outfit that I have custom before. 
Uh, and I'm going to pick the vault suit. And here's the vault suit. Now, uh, pick any one you want, and we shall go and do that. So, I'm just going to pick uh, outfit 3M. Now, the M is the texture for the male, and the F is the texture for the female. It's pretty self-explanatory, and it's so easy to follow, but easy to make mistakes. I made the mistake the first time, not, not looking at the M or the F. It should say male, it should say female, not just M and F, but... You know, once you've got it, you'll never forget it. It's like riding a bike. So click on the texture you want to edit, and then click Open. Now, click the Output folder. Uh, I would recommend um, Desktop, so it's easy to find. And the Output format should be JPEG. So there we go. Just click Convert. And there it is. It's popped up right here. And it says the image conversion is completed. So let's close the DDS converter down. We no longer need that. So now we have the uh, the uh, image right here. If I highlight it, it should say JPEG image. There it is, image type JPEG image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I edit with GIMP. There we go. It's only a quick, uh, quick custom texture. But there we go. As you can see, uh, on the front we've got the uh, ACB radio logo, we've got El Chess Breach written on the front, and on the back it says, my butt, with an arrow pointing at my butt. Uh, what we're going to do now is click export as, uh, probably desktop, and I want to change uh, ACB radio test outfit 3 male JPEG. Export and if it's JPEG, it will ask you for the quality. I'll whack it up to 100, I always recommend. And close GIMP down. So here we go. Uh, we have the two uh, two images here. And if you look closely, this one has nothing on it, so we highlight that one. That's the JPEG image. And we highlight this one. That's also the JPEG image. But you can look closely and you can see little bits of green and stuff. So that's obviously the custom texture. Now, you're going to need to go on the internet. Now, I'm pretty sure there's got to be programs out there to convert JPEGs to DDS. But I found this and it's so much easier. So I'll be back in just one second. And I'm back. So... This is a, a website www.aconvert.com forward slash image forward slash jpeg dash two dash dds forward slash splash nash crash type website and it converts images files online. So anyway, I found the image and now it's ready to be converted. So your target format here is uh, dds obviously because you really need it dds. That wasn't sarcasm, you really do need it dds. And the image size, do not change the image size. It needs to be exactly the same image size. If you change it, it'll just look weird. I guarantee it'll look really weird in the GEC and or in the game. So there we go. It's converted and it's gave a weird name. So we've got to look for P when we're looking for it. So save file, we should save it instantaneously. And let's close down the internet. There we go. So there we go. Now for the last step, is you're going to need to open the Garden of Eden Creation Kit, or the GEC. We're right back into the GEC, and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a new texture. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to go all the way to Miscellaneous, and click on it, and click on Texture Set. So this is the icon for a texture set. There we go, all good and dandy. So click any, blah blah blah. blah. I'm just going to click something that says male because I feel like it. Uh, right, click. Okay, thanks for interrupting me, motorbike. So what you want to do is you want to hit 00AA. I'd recommend that because then it pops right at the top of the list because it's got the uh, ID 00 before it and then AA. So there's anything with 00 BB, this will be above it. You know, 00 AA ACB radio 
Vault 3 Custom Custom So we're going to go on Diffuse We're going to go on Edit And it will automatically go to our Textures folder So you should be able to see your custom uh, Textured folder folder Let's open that up And here it is this is the uh, the custom image that we have created from JPEG and now converted it to DDS and is ready now to be put into the GIF. So we'll click on it and then click open. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Uh, it looks a bit odd, but this is this has just been made pretty quickly. So if you want something removed, click on it and then click X, and there we go. It removes it. So we're going to click. Okay, it's going to say create new form. Yes, and let's double click on that. And there it is. Here it is. So that's all fine and dandy. Now you want to apply that texture to a mesh. So we need to find the mesh. Okay, the mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on items, which is here, and I'm going to click on armor. Let's click on armor. There's armor. So I'm just going to type in Vault. Now don't worry if you don't see Vault Suit 3 or whatever you, you find out. But just so it's easier on me, I'm just going to click on Vault 3. I'm going to call it 0AA like I recommend. Vault Suit 3 Custom. And then I'm going to edit the uh, bipped model, which is um, this one here, the top one, on male. It has female here, but we're creating it for male because I play as old Chessbridge in Fallout New Vegas, and we all know he's a male. Even though he looks a bit like a female, but we all know he is a male. So, uh, what we're going to need is, we're going to need body. So... Meat cap body, meat cap body, or upper body. Hmm. I wonder which one it could be. Hmm. I want to click on upper body. So there we go. Uh, you scroll all the way to the top, and here it is. It's 0088, so it's easy to find. We'll click that. And there we go. It has done it. We can see the custom texture has done it. And there it is. You know, it's all custom. That's brilliant. So now I hit OK. And because we created a new ID, make sure you create a new ID. So then click OK. Do you want to create a new form? Yes, I do. And it'll be all the way at the top. So last but not least, um, you want to go down to cell view. And I'm just going to, I'm going to click on the strip world new strip embassy. I'm going to find some street litter because I love street litter. Oh, yeah. I don't like it in the bin. I love it on the street, baby. Street litter everywhere. Oh, look at that street litter. Anyway, that's besides the point. Street litter is overrated and underrated and overrated and underrated and all that good and stuff that is rated. So, right at the um, embassy gate, I'm just going to uh, hold left click. And I'm going to drag and drop into the game, and there it is. So I'm going to uh, hold left click, hold Z, and I'm going to drop it as far down to the floor as possible. Now, I would recommend not making it go through the floor like it's just done, but make it hover just a little bit above the floor. Okay? Because who knows what could happen. You, you could, like, put it exactly on the floor so it looks really good you know it looks like it's been placed there and it's not just hovering by alien technology so that's pretty much it so now what you want to do is you want to hit file you want to hit save and it's going to say uh, well you've edited Fallout New Vegas so this is now a mod so you're going to have to give the mod a name I'm going to go uh, ACB no I'm not I'm going to go Vault Three custom um, out fit. Yeah, that's pretty good. It looks like mount fit. Okay, so there we go. And 
it's in the, the data so that's brilliant leave it in data and click save now beforehand um, all you needed to do is boot up uh, Fallout NV on the data window here I'll show you and there we go when you start the gecko up it should be just this clicked and that's it this is clicked now because I've just saved it and it's now an active file so anything I edit in the gec will be on this mod so if I break the game somehow I know that it's this mod I have to disable or fix you know or delete and redo it all over again which is a pain in the backside so that's pretty much it so hit save and close down the gec now that's pretty much guys and gals that is pretty much it that is how to create custom textures in the gec now if this has not worked I'm going to be pretty annoyed with myself because I'm going to have to do it all over again so I'm going to open up Fallout New Vegas now and basically I am going to do this mm -hmm.